topic for this particular session is protection now to discuss this protection we shall have to concentrate on two terminologies one is your object another one is your domain so let me discuss the object and domain at first then i shall go for this particular diagram for further explanation by objects we mean the harder objects or the softer objects so it can be hardware or software in case of harder objects such as cpu memory segments printer disks tape drives it can be one object that means some hardware resources in case of software objects we can go for a files we can go for programs we can go for semaphore semaphore is a synchronization tool so semaphore and these things will be known as the software objects so objects we have got the idea now let us go for the domain domain is nothing but a collection of access rights what are the access rights access rights may be say read access right say write access right or say your execute access right so is a collection of access rights each of which is an ordered pair ordered pair means this sequence has to be maintained at first object names will be coming then write sets will be coming so the ordered pair means this ordering has to be maintained you cannot write on the other way each user or each process may be a domain so each user can be treated as one domain or each process may be treated as a domain now you see this is the domain let us call it the name is d1 this is d2 this is d3 and you see we are having this object and access rights as a pair ordered pair on this particular object o3 read write can be performed o1 read write can be performed o2 only the execute can be performed and similarly for this one so this is known as the domain this is known as a domain and in this particular case also we are having this object one where read operation can be performed and these are the things are there this is object to print is common between d2 and d3 that means if one user finds finds himself or herself in this particular d2 can also go for object to print and another user in d3 can go for object to print operation so this is known as the concept of domain concept of object and so on this thing can also be represented in a tabular form this thing can also be represented in a tabular form so here across the rows we have put the domains here across the columns we have put the objects and obviously here we are having the domain again now so if you find yourself in this particular domain d2 then you can perform read on the object f1 you can perform print on the laser printer or also from d2 say i'm writing the switch here i think that will be better i'm writing switch here so from d2 i can switch to d4 so from d2 say from d4 i can switch to d1 so these are the permissions these are the permissions these are the switches are de depicted and what about this star this star indicates that if you are in this particular domain d1 on this particular object f3 you can perform the read operation and also you can copy this read operation you are having that uh power to copy this read operation to other domain so i can put it here like this so i have done the copy of this read permission to the other domain because i am having this particular permission so in this way the full domain and this particular object can also be expressed in this matrix form also known as the access matrix which is very much important in our protection so i, I think you have got the logic and in the next sections we are going to discuss some other topics please be with us with us thanks for watching